Rated T for Teen. In Deadly Creatures, the environment's the desert. But it's not just the plain desert. If you've never been out here in the desert before, you might think that it's a desolate, barren place. But it's actually lush and provided a varied world that we could explore as both creatures. We wanted to capture both the beauty and the hostility of the desert. And we wanted to do it in sort of a, a lush, hand-painted style so that we could convey the sense of atmosphere and, and fear. Scorpion and the tarantula start off out in nature, discovering caves and tunnels, subterranean labyrinths that wend their way through thorny brambles, where you'll climb up through the interior of a giant saguaro cactus. As the game progresses, they start seeing more and more of man-made objects. All the junk that people dump out in the desert gave us a huge amount of inspiration to create this complex wasteland environment that has you exploring a discarded dollhouse and a smashed up aquarium, and eventually an overturned truck lying in the middle of the dump like a huge fortress home to a tribe of rats. The human elements in the game are one of the best ways to convey the sense of scale. The audience can relate to those objects right away. To an average person, it could be 600, 700 steps from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. So it's really important to keep that in mind when you're thinking about the amount of distance that one of these creatures would have to cover. These things aren't just traveling straight across the desert. They're traveling down, they're traveling up, they're traveling where you can't see and where you've never seen. This is your chance to actually see the desert as you've never seen it before. Deadly Creatures was a real challenge to design because other games, they're very horizontal, where our game, you can go anywhere. As you walk around, it can be really disorienting, which is actually really cool. You may feel as though you're on the ground, and you realize, wait, I'm on the ceiling. You could walk upside down. You could go on a loop-de-loop. -loop. You could go under the rock as well as over the rock. We wanted to make sort of every square inch packed with as much detail as possible. We want you to be able to see you know, things from a unique perspective. It's opening up certain vistas and vantage points. Those are the kind of things that really put you through the eyes of the future. 